Hey guys, today in this Filmora tutorial, I'll show you how to create a dynamic photo slideshow in Filmora. First, let's have a look what we are going to create today. First import required files, you can download these files for free, link is in description. Drop the frame on track 2, double click on it, change the scale to 70%, then drop the main image or video on track 1, double click on it and change the scale to 67%, 3% less than the frame. Take a snapshot. Delete the frame and reset the scale of main photo or video. If you are using video, take a snapshot of that part which you want to use as a slideshow. Place the playhead at starting point, add a blank keyframe, then place a playhead at the end and change the scale to 110%. Now place the playhead at 1 second and 5th frame, go to the effects and drop square blur. Go 4 frames forward, split the effect, then go 5 frames forward and split the effect. Then again go 4 frames forward and split the effect. Then place the playhead at 1 second and 23rd frame and slide the square blur effect to this position and make it 5 second long. Double click on effect, change strength to 3, then select the middle effect and change strength to 0. Then go to the transitions and apply dissolve transition on 3 square blur effects and make the transition 5 frames long. Again drop the dissolve transition. Then apply dissolve transition on long effect at the starting point and change transition duration to 10 frames. Then drop the camera clip on track 3. Double click on it, change blending mode to screen, then go to the mask, select circle and change horizontal and vertical to 25% to hide the center camera circle, click on invert mask. Then place the playhead at 1 second and 6th frame, add a blank keyframe, then go 5 frames forward, reduce the scale to 95%. Then go 5 frames forward and reset the scale value. Then place the playhead at 1 second and 25th frame and reduce the opacity to 0%. Copy it and paste it on track 4. Delete all the keyframes. Double click on it. Go to the video then mask and off invert option. Then shift track 3 clip to track 4 and 4 to 3. Now place the playhead at 1 second and 7th frame, add a blank keyframe on track 3, then go 4 frames forward and set rotation to 18 degrees, then go 5 frames forward and reset the rotation to 0 degree. This will add a nice small rotation to the circle making it more dynamic. Then place the playhead at 1 second and 23rd frame. Drop the snapshot on track 5, double click on it and change rotation to negative 20 degrees, scale to 80% and take it out of the screen using Y axis. Then go 10 frames forward, set rotation at negative 17 degrees, set the scale to 89% and bring back 80% of the photo. Then go 1 second forward, set rotation to negative 5 and bring a photo to the middle of the screen, reduce snapshot duration to 5 second and at the end set scale to 95%. Now go to the video, scroll down, on shadow effect, change shadow color to black and set the shadow position accordingly. Now go to the transitions and apply a flash transition on frame snapshot 
and keep transition for 10 frames. Select track 3 clip, change the opacity to 0%, then find out the maximum flash point, split track 1, double click on the second part, go to the color and under 3D loot select black and white. Then apply dissolve transition and make transition 4 frames long only. Finally apply camera click sound and then apply main background music. Let's render it to see the final preview. That's it guys, this is how you can create a dynamic photo or video slideshow in Filmora. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay safe and goodbye.